If there's any power that we as people have, it's the ability to share our own stories. This is just one story. My story is just one story that is a part of a bigger painted picture within the military. People often hear the stories of being a family member within the military. There's a lot of struggle behind it. Um, and being a spouse is like a second job altogether. Uh, and what I found is that my, my husband pushing me forward and saying, you know, you want to be a part of this. You want to be engaged. You want to be involved. I mean, and I found that being more involved and being more engaged with the squadron, with the unit, um, gave me an opportunity to be a part of something bigger than just being a spouse. Peterson Air Force Base is a very close-knit uh, community. Uh, we're a very small base compared to other bases. Uh, however, um, when it comes to the, the Peterson Air Force Base spouses, uh, there's a definite strong camaraderie amongst them. I am quite honored to be named as the 2019 um, U.S. Space Force first spouse of the year. Uh, as a trans woman, um, as a veteran, as an Asian Pacific Islander, um, Hispanic, living at different intersectionalities, we often don't think about stuff like this uh, because it's not anything that is um, often provided as an opportunity to do. Uh, I think being named, you know, the, the winner for this year uh, is a great honor, but there are tons of other people out there that do equal work just as I do. And I think having this platform and being able to share my story, living at different intersectionalities, I'm sharing my experiences with people and having them understand I am just like you. Um, gives them the opportunity to broaden their horizons on different cultures, different, uh, different understandings, you know. Um, we often become complacent in what we know. It's the challenge is stepping outside of that box and have, trying to have a better understanding of what goes on around us. Um, with the LGBTQ community specifically, seeing other people, um, like everyday people like myself, uh, be recognized for the things that they're doing in our community, especially within the military community, is very important because it gives them the hope and the opportunity to step up to that plate and say, I can be like that. I think it's wonderful that, you know, the military is recognizing our LGBT service members. It's important because they bring their extra spice to the table. Um, and we've been serving alongside them for years and generations. Um, so I think it's time to really recognize that, right? Recognize them for their service, but also recognize their families um, and build those spaces for them because we all contribute to a better Air Force. And so having this platform, being able to share my story, applying that to the other spouses, having them share their own stories, you, you see that it just, it creates a bigger and better space um, for people to grow, uh, for people to be involved and engaged, and it makes for a better unit. We often want to stick to ourselves and just kind of you know, mind our own business and stay in our own corners. Um, but at the end of the day, the Air Force is our family and our family is the Air Force. So we have to keep that mentality and keep that momentum going if we're going to make this a better place.